In this video, we'll learn how to monitor Kubernetes with ClickStack. So I've got a Kubernetes cluster running, and we can call kubectl top nodes to see the cluster that I've got. And you can see there it's in GKE in Google Cloud. I've also got the OTAL demo running. So we can do kubectl get pods, and you can see I've got all these different services running, and that's going to generate some data that we can monitor. I'll put a link to the docs in the description so you can get hold of that. Now to deploy ClickStack, we use the official Helm chart. So this means we need to add the HyperDX Helm repository. So let's do that. And then we'll just do a Helm repo update, which will just take a second or two. Now the Helm chart is installed, we can deploy ClickStack to our cluster with this command here. And once that's done, we can call get pods to check that those are running. It's going to take a little while, so we'll run it a few times. And we're looking for the status to be running for all of those different pods. And you see they are now all running, so we can continue. I'm just going to create a port forwarding to so that I can have a look at the HyperDX UI on my machine. So I'm going to make it, my local port's going to be 8080, and it's pointing to port 3000 on the service. And we can then go over in our browser to localhost 8080, and you see we get this create account screen. So I'll create myself an account with the password and then it comes back and says, and we can see now this is the HyperDX UI. Now we don't have any data being ingested yet and to ingest data, we'll need to provide an API key. So if we click on my name, team settings, scroll down a little bit and then you can see ingestion API key there. So we'll copy that onto our clipboard and then we're going to put that into a secret, that key. And then we'll run that and so you can see the secrets now been created. Let's have a quick look at the open telemetry demo YAML file that we that I ran kind of off video before. And if we do a search for hyper, you can see that the HyperDX API key is in there ready to ingest data. And so what we're going to do next is we're going to restart the deployment of the demo now that we've got the key available and it's going to restart all those services and it should now start ingesting log data and trace data into ClickStack. If we come back to the HyperDX UI, we can see that data is now flowing in. Let's pick one of the recommendation log entries. So we land on the overview tab, but we can switch to column values to get a clearer view of everything. And it shows us like the line number of where this log generated from. The trace view lets us see the sequence of requests that were made. So we can see we've got list recommendations at the top that calls get product list, which calls list products. And then we have a log line. And finally, we have calls to load four products from the product catalog. We can also see the surrounding context of this log message. And then finally, we have the infrastructure tab. This will show Kubernetes metrics, but we haven't set those up yet. So you can see it's all blank. To collect Kubernetes metrics, we'll deploy a standard OTEL collector and configure it to send data securely to our ClickStack collector using the same HyperDX API key that we saw before. We'll first install the OpenTelemetry Helm repo, and then we're going to create ourselves a config map with our OTEL collector endpoint, which we'll use in just a minute. To collect logs and metrics from both the cluster itself and each node, we'll need to deploy two separate open telemetry collectors, each with their own manifest. The first one is Kubernetes deployment.yaml. So we're going to download that. And if we have a quick look at the contents, we can see that it uses the config map that we just set up as well as the secret that we created earlier. So we can now install that. And that's now ready. And now if we look at the second manifest, so this is Kubernetes daemon set YAML again. Let's download that. And if we search, we can see that it also uses the secret and the config map. And again, we'll install that one. And if we now go back to the UI again, we'll pick a different recommendation log. And this time, if we go to the infrastructure tab, we can see what was happening on the node at the time of the event, which is very useful when you're doing some analysis. We can also click through to the Kubernetes dashboard from the links on the left menu. And this dashboard gives us a general overview, shows us warning events, and lets us click through to individual pods. If you want to learn more about ClickStack, you want to check out this video next.